Welcome to another screencast of SQL Tidbits, where we give you just a tidbit to keep you coming back. In today's tidbit, I'll be sharing with you a administration tool that really can make your life a lot easier, and it's for Windows, and it's called Fences. So let me just dive right in and show you some of the neat features of Fences. I'm sure by the end of this, uh, you're going right in the middle of this, you're going to go right out there and start downloading this because it's such an exciting little tool. Fences is a desktop icon organizer. Uh, I can't believe this feature is not baked into Windows yet, but it's so uh, simple of a concept and yet so powerful. If you're one of those uh, people that have a lot of uh, icons on your desktop, you'll really appreciate this. I'm going to drag some icons onto my desktop and, uh, and basically uh, what you can do is you can put these icons into little fences. So I have this files and documents uh, fence and I can drag uh, a whole group of icons into it. And notice I get a nice scroll bar in case uh, that the fence is uh, too small for all the icons. I can resize the fence very easily. I can move it around and, of course, use that. I can even uh, double click on the desktop background and hide all my fences and icons. I can double click again and they appear. If I wanted to uh, use this particular uh, icon all the time, I could say exclude this icon from fences quick hide. And now when I hide everything, uh, that icon stays there. So I can use fences kind of in the background um, and, and uh, pull things in and out of fences separately. So this is uh, now here part. I can also exclude the, um, if I go under view, exclude this fence from quick hide. So if I have this fence and another fence called folders, and let's just throw some things in here so you can see how this works. And I double click to hide. Notice I hid the folders fence, but this one, this whole fence, uh, stayed unhidden. Uh, it's really neat if I need to create a new fence. I could just right click on the background and drag, and it says create new fence here. And I'll just go ahead and type test, and now I have a new fence. And then, of course, I can size it. As I'm sizing it, it'll automatically lock. Notice that it, the, I, it stops as I drag it right there at the edge. So it's very easy to get these lined up with each other. Same thing when I'm just dragging one, it'll, it'll click and, and stop there for me, uh, both vertically and, hor and horizontally. A uh, lot, of, lot of neat features. If you go into the configuration of fences, configure fences, you'll see I have lots of layout options, appearance options. If I want to adjust the color, notice I can uh, choose what color I want it to be, and, and it automatically will um, show for me there. I can also take snapshots. So this is what my desktop looked looked like earlier. And you can see it, it, it will account for multiple screens and it will save all the exact positions of your desktop icons. I can take another snapshot. I can restore a snapshot if I mess something up. Uh, so many neat things you can uh, do and I'm just really just scratching the surface because it's, it's just, <laughs> I can't say enough good about uh, fences. So if you want to get your own copy of fences, you can go uh, to stardock.com slash products slash fences and I'll be sure to put the uh, link in the show notes there. It's uh, completely free. Obviously they do have a, a pro version as well that you can check out if you want to upgrade to that. This is not an affiliate link. This is just uh, I just want to give you some value. If you've not ever used fences I think you'll really enjoy it. Go out there, download it today, install it. It'll, it has an auto config feature to automatically organize your, your icons right from the get-go. And I think you'll you'll notice the productivity level going up uh, right away. Well, this has been another screencast of SQL Tidbits, where we give you just a tidbit to keep you coming back for more. I hope you've enjoyed it.